Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the voltage regulator feature of a Zener diode. So a Zener diode is a one of the specially designed diode that predominantly works in the reverse bias condition. They are more heavily daubed than ordinary diodes, due to which they have a narrow depletion region. While regular diodes get damaged when the voltage across them exceeds the reverse breakdown voltage, the Zener diode works exclusively in this region. The depletion region in the Zener diode go back to its normal state when the reverse voltage is removed. This particular property of Zener diode makes it useful as a voltage regulator. And let us see what is happening in this Zener diode. So let us first comprehend how a Zener diode works before we understand the Zener diode as a voltage regulator. When we are applying a reverse voltage to a Zener diode, a negligible amount of current flow through the circuit. When a voltage higher than the Zener breakdown voltage is applied, the Zener breakdown occurs. The Zener breakdown is a phenomenon where a significant amount of current flow through the diode with a negligible drop in voltage. When we increase the reverse voltage further, the voltage across the diode remains at the same value of Zener breakdown voltage whereas the current through it keeps on rising as seen in this graph. Here in the graph, V2 refers to the Zener breakdown voltage and the Zener breakdown voltage typically can range from 1.2 volt to 200 volt depending upon its application. The exciting part of this diode is that we can choose the Zener diode with a suitable breakdown voltage to work as a voltage regulator in our circuit. For example, if we want a voltage across a load in our circuit does not exceed, let us say it is a 12 volt, then we can select a Zener diode with a breakdown voltage of 12 volt and connect it across the load. Then, even if the input voltage exceeds the value, that is if we are supplying a voltage of 50 volt, the voltage across the load will never exceed 12 volt and this is due to the Zener breakdown voltage effect of the Zener diode which is of 12 volt we are connecting in this circuit. Here the Zener diode is connected across the load RL and we want the voltage across the load to be regulated and not cross the value of the VZ. Depending upon our requirement, we can choose a suitable Zener diode with a Zener breakdown voltage near to the voltage we require across the load. We connect a Zener diode in the reverse bias condition. When the voltage across the diode exceeds the Zener breakdown voltage, a significant amount of current starts flowing through the diode. As the load is in parallel to the diode, the voltage drop across the load is also equal to the Zener breakdown voltage. The Zener diode provides a path for the current to flow and hence the load gets protected from the excessive current. Thus, the Zener diode serves two purposes, that is the Zener diode as a voltage regulator as well as it protects the load from excessive current. So many students in this lecture we had discussed the voltage regulator feature of a Zener diode. So as we mentioned, if we want the voltage across a circuit which is not to exceed a particular limit, we can use a Zener diode. So dear students, hope you had understood this topic. So dear students, kindly go through the assignment question. Our question is, write notes on the Zener diode as a voltage regulator. So dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss a bipolar junction transistor that is a BJT. So dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye, thank you and all the best.